Welcome back to Girls Beauty. So I have shot a series of videos for this Karwa Chaut. The first one is going to be this makeup look. And the second one include my jewelry, my dress, my hairstyle, everything of this look. In the second video, I will be discussing what I chose and why I chose that. If you guys are interested in this makeup look, then stay tuned and let's jump right into today's video. After doing this video on Katrina Kaff's eyes trick, I'm using eyes every day before moisturizing my skin. Then I'm using toner to minimize the appearance of pores and it gives protection to my skin. It also helps to lock the moisture to the skin. I have started using it recently and I'm loving it. Then I'm moving on to the serum to hydrate my skin. This one is from Body Shop. This hydrates your skin really well. Then I'm moving on to Body Shop Drop of Youth Moisturizer. It leaves your skin really moisturized and give a nice healthy glow to your skin. Massage it thoroughly on your face and neck. If you suffer from dry lips, then always use a balm before applying any lipa. So we are going to use MAC Prep and Prime as our primer. Use this to achieve smooth makeup look. So I'm going to use a pump of it and I'm going to spread it all over my face and neck. This will give a nice and smooth finish to our makeup. To cover the dark circles, I'm going to use Urban Decay Color Corrector and I'm going to spread it underneath my eyes. And I'm going to use it on the other dark areas of my face. So I'm going to use my fingers to merge it into my skin. And same thing here. And then I'm going to use this color corrector from Revlon and I'm going to put it just on the spots, dark spots that I have on my face. And I'm using my fingers to blend it. So my face looks very scary at the moment, but we will fix it, don't worry. I'm going to zoom in my camera so that you can see my face. And now we are moving on to foundation. For that, I'm using MAC Studio Fix SPF 15 and number is NC25. Since it is a bit light for my skin, so I'm going to mix it with this foundation from Body Shop. Two pumps of foundation. So I have to be very very careful so I can't drag it so to spread foundation on my face I'm going to use this flat brush it is really soft and very thick and it gives a very nice and natural finish to my makeup So for the more natural finish, I use warmth of my hands and I press it against my cheeks and face and that gives nice finish, nice glowy finish to my makeup. So the next product I'm going to use on my face is Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline. I'm using the same brush which I used to apply my foundation.
and I'm using my fingers to blend it. So the next step is I'm going to use the loose powder in the area where I used concealer. To make your eyeshadows pop, use concealer on the eyelid and then use the loose powder. And I'm using my fingers to blend it. So we are going to apply loose powder on top of the concealer so that our eyeshadow doesn't crease. So now we are going to use a blending brush and start applying our eyeshadows. So the first eyeshadow we are going to apply is here that's called trans transitioning color. That should be very close to your own color, a little bit darker than that. So tap off the excess color. So don't hold your brush from the middle or the start, hold it from the end. Start applying from outer corner to the inner corner. And then with the same brush, I'm going to move towards a little darker shade, something like this. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out the future video notifications. And I'm going to use this brush on the crease and I will pick more darker shade, something like this. I'm going to spread it on the crease. So after that I'm going to use this dark shade, it's called Night Life and I have to be very careful. A tip for the beginners is always go for a very little product on the brush and deposit it gradually. Take your time to blend the eyeshadows for the more natural finish. In between brushes, I use my fingers as well for the more natural finish. And then I'm going to use this eyeshadow. This one is from Revlon, Photo Ready Eye Art. On one side, it has this thick metallic shadow. On the other side, it has liquid glitters. Take your time while applying this as it is very hard to remove it later on. So the glitters were very sticky and very thick and it took really long time to dry. And I used very small strokes to apply the glitter and shadow on my eyes. And use this dark shade in the lower lash line. So I'm going to use this very thin angular brush. So for the softer finish of your makeup look, always go for the eyeshadow instead of eyeliner. So after the eyeshadow is dry, fill the outer corner with the darkest shade we used before. And now I'm going to move to the eyeliner. For that I'm going to use the NYX eyeliner pencil. If you're a beginner, use sketch eyeliner instead of liquid eyeliner because it is easier to apply liner with a pen than brush. Always use small strokes to draw small lines. Start from the outer corner and move towards the inner corner of the eyes. I'm using NYX Brow Cake to fill my brows. So for this, the tip will be same. Always use a very small product and use small strokes to fill in. And I'm going to use the blusher. For that, I'm using this peachy blusher. This one is from Color Bar. I forgot contour. Oh, let's do it now. If the shape of your face is round, always contour your face to define your features and to give illusion of thinner face. So use it under your cheekbones like I am making this fish shaped face 
so that I can see where my cheekbone ends and then you have to contour your face from there. Also use contour powder to define jawline. It looks really nice in pics. So next I'm going to use this NYX Wonder Stick. I'm going to contour my nose with it. And then using my fingers to blend the product in. It makes your nose look sharp and thin. Now I'm going to use highlighter on my brows. Do you ever wonder how these celebrities have such a glowing skin when you look at their pics? Half of the credit goes to the highlighter. So this is how it looks later on. After that I'm going to apply my fake lashes and I will be back. So I'm back after applying fake lashes. Now I'm going to do the inner corner of my eyes. I'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. And on my lips I'm going to use MAC Pander Me. So I'm going to use mascara on the lower lash. So I have applied a little darker shade on the MAC lipstick to just pop the color a little bit more and I think this is going to be the final look. And that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, please hit the like button, share your feedback in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out the future video notifications. So I see you guys in my next video. Till then, keep smiling and take it easy. Bye.